So guys, today we're gonna try and catch a few petal crabs. Petal crabs can usually be found on wide open beaches with large intertidal zones. So what I've got here is called an opera style crab pot. So basically opera style because it looks like the opera house in uh, Sydney. It's uh, obviously an Australian product. So basically easy for transport because it folds up like that. And if you want to use it, you just flip it out and there are two clips here just to close it up. And uh, it's got an entrance hole on each side for the crabs to enter. In the middle of the pot, right here is a bait net. And I just stuffed some cheap chicken thigh and a piece of salted fish. And that's just tied to the bottom of the crab pot. And the idea is pretty simple, so it sits on the bottom of the ocean and the pedal crabs, they can swim, they kind of go sideways. So with this size of hole, 10 centimeters diameter, so should get a fairly big pedal crab in there if it goes sideways. Once they sit on that bait, they won't be able to come out again. This part is to attach a float, just an old milk bottle or something. Uh, so you can see it in the water and if it's a bit choppy I usually put a weight like a kayak anchor on the other side so that it stays on the bottom. So I just attach the float to my line here and to my crab pot. I'm just gonna weight this out now and uh, I'll leave it out there for 20 minutes and see what happens. Good time for pedal crabs is in the evenings at low light conditions. They don't like the bright sun so much. In the intertidal zone, so on an best would be on an incoming tide, an hour or so after incoming tide. All right, guys. So that's our app, uh, Fishing Times. You can download this from the App Store for iOS and also for Android. And this shows you the best fishing times each day. Basically, the green bars show you the major and minor times, and the blue bars show you the tide times. So for catching paddle crabs in particular, you want to look for uh, days where you got a low tide, either early morning or late evening, like you can see here on the Saluna clock. At the moment we have a low tide. Uh, I just walked out there and I've seen a, a whole lot of petal crabs just sitting on the sandy ground now. So now that it's not so sunny, they actually come out and walk around. Uh, and that's the time to catch them. So I've put the pot out that's sitting out there now. And then I have a snorkel around a little bit and see what those crabs are doing. If I can film it here actually. So. I just gotta have to find my uh, crab pot from earlier. Holy cow, look at these crabs here. Ooh, this guy. Got a loose piece of chicken here, trying to fit that into the pot. Look at that greedy bugger there, he's running away with a whole piece of chicken now. Oh my god. This guy sees me and goes in a defensive stance there. And these guys are all fighting over a piece of salted fish at the moment. These guys are like underwater soldiers defending their food and uh, territory. Look how they're chomping away on that piece of chicken, man, they're really enjoying that. go when you drag that uh, bag with food away. What's got a nice big piece of meat in his mouth. Very aggressive and territorial those crabs. I've got enough now. Got a couple of nice big ones in the back. But, oops, I'm trying to nip my feet here while I'm here in the water. And they're all fighting with each other now. Actually, it nipped me quite a bit now already. Can pick and choose the big ones with a bit of bait here. Real good fun. Oh. Alright, so I caught one by hand now. Just snorkeling around and finding one. So basically, I've just been snorkeling around in uh, waist deep water around my crab pot. And I just used my standard dive gloves to grab those crabs. 
So these crabs are called pedal crabs or swimming crabs because their back legs are like pedals and it allows them to swim. On a million signs, like a million lights that shine. That's the biggest ones are in the back now. Got a ton of nice big ones, man. Diving for those crabs is actually quite good. Eh? It's really good fun because you get tons of them eh? and you can only pick the big ones. Eh? You don't have to muck around with all these small ones in the pot. You just pick the big crabs. Yeah, heaps of fun catching them actually this way. They're much easier to deal with these guys than with those rock crabs. So supposedly if you kept, if you put them upside down, they don't do anything. They kind of, you know, like just lie there. Seems to work. So let's have a look what we've got in here, man. There's there's like a ton of them, huh? Just gotta look at all the small ones. Here's a bigger one. This guy's a pretty crazy. So many. They go into the same dog. Oh, Let's see what we got here. I just chucked them straight into ice water from the catch bag and I will... This will cal calm them down and uh, put them to sleep so we can then cook them. So we got a nice big one here. Look at this, this guy. He's a pretty good one. Good size, huh? And this one is quite nice, big size. Yeah, they're very inactive uh, compared to those rock crabs. A pretty nice size. And probably one, two, three, four, five, six good eating size. And the other ones might be good for bait. So we'll leave them in there. I think maybe 10 minutes and then they'll, 15 minutes they'll be put to sleep. And then we chuck a few into um, some boiling water for dinner. Eh? Boiled up two of those pedal crabs, actually quite a nice size. We boiled them for six minutes and they're actually very soft and super sweet. They're actually sweeter than the rock crabs, way sweeter than crayfish. It's actually very good. It's a bit salty and um, very uh, sweet meat and uh, the shell is actually hmm, lots of meat sticking here on those um, on those joints when you pull them out look at this hmm it's, uh, not a lot of meat but the meat that's on there it's very juicy and um, very juicy and tender how easy they crack? That's because we shilled them in salt ice after cooking. There's also a lot of meat in the body. Just need to squeeze a bit and it comes right out. Mm. That was a very successful uh, crab catching evening and something I wouldn't have expected like uh, snorkeling or diving for crabs, how much fun that actually is and um, you know that you can pick only the big ones, eating them of course. Mm. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video, catch and cook uh, pedal crabs in a slightly different way and uh, we'll see you next time.